welcome back to this uh, channel let's continue with our full course in uh, autocad for mechanical engineering this is lesson number eight we'll continue to talk about uh, modify command and we'll start with uh, the blend curves so i'll just come here and then uh, activate the command so this one is just used to joint to uh, curves like this one just ask me to select the first object or just click here the first object and then the second object done I'll just repeat the command by typing enter come here also the first object second object done so that's the way we use uh, the blend curves so let's go ahead and talk about the array so the array we have three different types we have the rectangular path and polar let's start with the rectangular array activate ask me to select the object to just come here and uh, select the object click and then enter you can see that uh, i have here my array and uh, as you can see i have like one two three four columns and the three rows so one two three i can also like add or decrease the column uh, we just come here i have four i'll put three and you can see that it will decrease from four to three columns i can also decrease or add the rows i'll just put like two rows and we will we'll also decrease and uh, we want we can also like um, uh, add we just put three and then we'll have like three row and the three column we can also uh, change the between the rows like the distance from here to here and here to here right now is 23 i will just uh, add to 30 we just put there 30 and then you can see that you know it is added if we want to decrease the row just put like two will decrease and uh, also here we can also uh, change the distance between uh, the column we'll just put uh, 35 and you can see that it will also decrease this one is the total of uh, the distance we have so in this case if we <coughs> so we have like sorry uh, from here to here 35 plus from here to here 35 which is 17 the same also happened here 30 because we only have like one uh, uh, between distance of the of the row that, that that way is total 30 if i add here put like three you can see that it will also uh, come with the three uh, now is 60. so i can like uh, close if you want to go back we just come here and uh, click we'll go back and here we have another option which is edit source if we come here click to edit source and then uh, i will just uh, you know edit the source which is this one here so select the item this one and then i can start so uh, if uh, you are doing for the first time will come um some information just go to okay and then so it'll be the same now i can uh, change i'll just go to the stretch click the stretch and then uh, select you know from right to left must come green in uh, the stretch and then uh, we'll just uh, select the base point which will be in the middle now i can uh, stretch see i'm stretching the the base the source once i i i i uh, I am done I just come here and uh, save the changes you can see that also all it is uh, changed so let's continue talk about uh, the, the the path the path array so the path array which is this one here uh, I will uh, in this case just go there will be the something I will select the object this one and then enter now ask me to select the path cur curves this one here click the same thing you we can also like uh, change in this case the the, the the distance just put here 30 will be something you see it is changed and uh, all what we have done in uh, the 
rectangular we can also do here. The next uh, is a polar array. So the polar array is here, we just activate, select the objects, enter, now select the center point. So the center point is here. And then we can see it's also done. And we can also make all the modification as we have done on the first array. So that's the way we do the array. So we have also here another option, uh, which is we already talk about the arrays. Let's talk about the explode. Explode is like if you want to convert a kind of object from uh, uh, the normal object, seeing object to pull line, you have to go to block. For instance, let's uh, make here in a, a pull line object. So this one enter click so uh, in stripes this one you can see is a, a pull line object why because if you click anywhere in the object all one will be selected so it is a pull line objects in this case if you want to uh, change this one instead of being like a, being in this case like a pull line can be separate uh, uh, lines like I click all line is selected I can change to change come here to do explode activate explode and then se select the object select now enter so it is done now if I click here all this one it will be selected you can see on that one also here on this one but in the past was that it was pull line now it is not anymore because the lines are separated so that's why I can like click here click here let's do it again to, to see the difference go there again type enter and then make the pull line this is a pull line I can also like make pull line with this one here the same thing so this is a pull line also because I click everyone is selected you can see also here selected just one click everything it is selected you can see so i can also change here go to explode click click now enter you can see now if i click all this line will be selected so this is the way we use explode the other uh, option here uh, just to finish this uh, a lesson is uh, offsets so when can we use offset like that I have like a line here just auto okay and another one so to the offset is a very important uh, command like uh, we click activate the offset now we need uh, to, to give the distance that we want to to copy the line we just put like uh, let's let's see 10 and then enter now select the object so if I select it here now you can move red to the right or the left I'll just put the right if you can uh, again to the right again to the right also to the left that's the way we use the offset also here the same thing blow blow so the 10 is you can see that come like 10 and then click just click see but you 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 need to click the last line you see and then move to the right below will not come because you don't want to the that's the way we use the offset so thank you very much for watching and uh, let's go ahead and move to the next lesson lesson number nine which uh, will be modify commands part four See you until then.